Hey guys, welcome to Living With Low. My name is Lauren and welcome to week 22 of my pregnancy journey. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and click the subscribe button if you haven't already and make sure you click the bell notification so that you are notified whenever I do put out new content. Now getting into this week, I went to my OB yesterday. I guess it's like they call it a four week update when I go to my OB and literally all my, my appointment only lasted for all of maybe five to 10 minutes. I got to hear the baby's heartbeat. It was about roughly 145 beats per minute, which was really, really good. And y'all, y'all wouldn't, y'all wouldn't dare believe what happened. She put the little, um, you know, thing on my stomach to hear the heartbeat. I don't know what it's called, sorry. And <laughs> she said she felt a little kickback. I was like, oh. So I thought that was really, really funny and cute. It's been up and down, but I am glad to say that everything is going as planned. We were just discussing uh, what's coming next. Um, in the next four weeks, she did, my OB did tell me that I will be doing the gestational diabetes test where they give you the, the syrup to drink within like five minutes and you have to wait for about an hour and then they, I guess, you know, come back, test your blood and test you for diabetes. So I'm hoping all of that goes well, but I have been trying to pick up a lot more salad, a lot more fruit. Aside from that, my water intake, y'all, is crazy. <laughs> So definitely make sure y'all stay hydrated out there. At this point in the pregnancy, I am 22 weeks today, three days, and or that's equivalent to five months. Now saying that, baby is about the size of a coconut, which is around 10 inches long and around in between 14 and 15 ounces. That's huge. And literally y'all, I can definitely tell the difference in the last few weeks. The one big change that I definitely noticed in this week was the amount of kicks that I'm feeling, the movement. I know I mentioned that last week in week 21's video, but y'all, I'm telling y'all, it's like a thing. It's getting super real. <laughs> It's to the point sometimes I'm like, okay, go to sleep. Y'all, my any has now become an Audi and that's due to my expanding belly. My stomach is getting super, super big at this point. And Lola was looking at my stomach the other day as I was like putting lotion on. I was massaging the bottom part of my belly and <laughs> Lola was like, what's going on with your belly button? <laughs> so funny story, when I was pregnant with Lola, it also happened, my Indy became an Audi. Comment below if you have the same experience with your belly button or does your any continue to stay in? Like does it stay in the whole pregnancy? I want to know. Definitely drop it in the comments box below, but I cannot wait to show you guys the bump date. I am getting very big. <laughs> Another symptom that's not so much a symptom of this pregnancy, but it did happen with Lola is stretch marks. Now at this point, some of you guys are like stretch mark, stretch mark free. And I did mention that I didn't have any stretch marks, but um, I noticed as the bigger I get, the more I notice them. It's literally at the bottom end of my belly. Actually, I'm gonna show y'all. Y'all saw that? <laughs> so yeah, I don't have any shame in my stretch marks. It's definitely something that may happen with you, but definitely try to moisturize as much as possible. I am focusing on my stomach, my thighs, and my buttocks. <laughs> Comment below if you have any like special creams that you use uh, as it relates to my stretch marks because I'm trying to keep it, I'm trying to keep it to a minimum. Another symptom that I am experiencing with week 22 is back aches. I just ordered, my mom was pushing me to get it, I just ordered a belly band. I'm hoping that it helps a lot because I notice, especially like when I'm doing dishes in the morning, um, sometimes I notice that it tends to kind of ache a little bit, um, especially if I'm on it or standing and moving around a lot throughout the day. So I definitely try to take it easy when I can and put a lot of plush pillows behind just to give me some extra support, but definitely ordered a belly band and I cannot wait to use it. Uh, I did get it off of Amazon for like 16 bucks it was like a bestseller so I'm hoping that it does what it needs to do but I'll definitely keep you updated on that so whew, can't wait <laughs> and uh, aside from back aches y'all know y'all can hear it. I, I'm sure you can hear when you can hear it when I talk but I am 
always out of breath. What I tend to do is just try to take as many deep breaths as I can slowly and just remind myself constantly just to take it easy, slow down. I know I mentioned that also in the last few videos, but be more intentional with movements and breathing. I take a lot more deep breaths throughout the day. Y'all let me know how y'all are doing out there. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up for me and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.